Hey guys, it's Julie here with Tip Ranks, and today we're taking a look at three top analyst small cap stocks. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're taking a look at three small cap stocks, all coming in with a strong buy consensus and recent ratings from top ranked analysts. These small cap stocks have a market cap between $300 million to $2 billion, and while they can have some more volatility, they're also going to be the opportunity for some great growth. So we're going to take a look at these companies, what it is that they do, and what those top analysts are predicting for the stock's future. We came across these companies today using the top analyst stock page on tip ranks. That is found right under the Ideas tab under Top Analyst Stocks, where you'll see your list with stocks with recent ratings from those top analysts. Of course, we narrowed it down to a strong buy with a small market cap. And just before we get into today's three strong buy stocks, this is a friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. You can also download our TipRanks mobile app to access all your favorite investment research tools on the go by following links in the description down below. Now let's get right into our three small cap stocks. First up today is a company called Bluebird. They trade under the ticker BLBD, currently priced at $47.25 per share, with a market cap of about $1.5 billion. Year to date, the stock has climbed 75%, but cooling off in recent months, dropping about 6% in the last three. Bluebird is a name you might remember from your school years. They have been in the school bus industry for nearly 100 years, dating back to 1927. They have been a leader and innovator of school buses for nearly a century. Their dedicated team members design, engineer, and manufacture school buses with a singular focus on safety, reliability, and durability. And the company is now leading the way in low and zero emission school buses. About 60% of their sales are non-diesel, and they're a leader in alternative power, being number one in electric and propane school buses. About a week ago, on August 7th, Bluebird came out with their Q3 earnings report. They had yet another solid earnings beat, plus announced some leadership transitions and an increase to some future outlooks. For their third quarter, they reported earnings per share of 91 cents, which was a big beat over the 53 cents anticipated. And looking back over the past year, they've been coming out with some big beats there. When we look at the sales and revenue side, net sales came in at 333 million, which was up 13%, and they had record quarterly adjusted EBITDA of 48 million. They raised their EBITDA guidance to 175 million, and the long-term adjusted EBITDA margin outlook up to 15%. They also announced a CEO transition, with their president, Mr. Britton Smith, taking over as CEO, replacing Mr. Philip Porlock, who will resign but will remain on the board. Following that third quarter earnings report, we've had a handful of Wall Street analysts weighing in, including a five-star analyst from Bank of America Securities, who increased their price target on the Bluebird stock. They noted that Bluebird raised its fiscal 2024 outlook notably again this quarter, providing preliminary 2025 guidance pointing to a strong 2025 to follow while also announcing their CEO transition plan. The firm maintained their 2024 and 25 revenue estimates and raised their EBITDA estimates 7 to 8% respectively on the updated outlook and preliminary guide for the year. With five current analyst ratings, the Bluebird stock comes in as a unanimous strong buy. And the average price target comes in at $65.25, implying an upside potential of 38% from current prices. Looking at those ratings down below, on the low end, we do have a price target here of $54 from Barclays, which would be an upside of over 14%, and a high-end price target of $72 coming from Needham, implying an upside of 52%. For our second strong buy small cap stock, we're taking a look at Dotebo. They trade under the ticker DCBO, currently priced at $42.51. They have fallen over 12% year-to-date, but in the last three months have grown about the same. Docebo is a cloud-based learning platform for enterprises. Docebo's mission is to change the way people learn using technologies. They help organizations create and manage learning programs for their employees, customers, and partners. Their platform offers tools for content generation, automation, analytics, and AI to help businesses train diverse audiences and measure the impact of their learning programs. They're focused on using artificial intelligence to transform corporate e-learning into a competitive advantage for enterprises since it allows them to get data-driven insights so they can enhance the learner's experience and improve their workforce. They also just recently reported earnings, sharing their Q2 last week on August 8th, where they did see both an earnings and revenue beat. 
For their second quarter, they reported earnings per share of $0.26, cents, beating estimates by $0.06 cents per share and continuing a long streak of earnings beats. Revenue came in at $53.1 million, which is an increase of 22% year-over-year. Looking forward, the company is anticipating total revenue for the next quarter of 54 to $54.2 million, and for the full year is anticipating total revenue growth between 18 to 19%. Of course, following that earnings report, we have a handful of Wall Street analysts weighing in on the Dochibo stock, including a five-star analyst from Needham. They reiterated their buy rating, pointing out that despite the general challenges in the ed tech sector, Dochibo has had a particularly strong quarter, leading the company's management to increase their revenue outlook. The momentum is especially notable in the enterprise and mid-market segments, where there's been an observable quarter-over-quarter -quarter increase in the average contract value of new customers, suggesting a robust sales season. The stock is currently rated a strong buy with eight analyst ratings, nearly coming in with unanimous buys at seven buy ratings and one hold. And the average price target comes in just above $52 per share for an average upside potential of about 23%. Looking at those ratings down below, on the low end, we do have a buy rating from CIBC at $44, implying an upside of 4.3%, and our high-end price target is $60 from Stifle Nicholas, implying an upside of over 42%. If you've made it to our third stock today, then this is a reminder to make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Our third small cap stock is Hamilton Insurance Group. They trade under the ticker HG, currently priced just shy of $18 per share with a market cap of $1.9 billion. Year to date, their stock has climbed 19.4%, gaining over 11% in the last three months. They are a global specialty insurance and reinsurance company. Founded back in 2013, they are a Bermuda-headquartered company that underwrites specialty insurance and reinsurance risks on a global base through its wholly owned subsidiaries. Their three underwriting platforms provide them with access to diversified and profitable key markets around the world with their Hamilton Global Specialty, Hamilton Re, and Hamilton Select. Enhanced by data and technology, they're focused on producing sustainable underwriting profitability and delivering significant shareholder value. Now, Hamilton Group just started trading on the New York Stock Exchange back in 2023, so this latest quarter last week was just their fourth quarter on this market. And they did come out with an earnings feat, plus announced a common share repurchase authorization. For their Q2, the company reported earnings per share of $1.20, beating expectations by $0.45 cents per share. They had net income of $131 million and an annualized return on average equity of 23.6%. Their gross premiums written was $603.3 million, which increased 19.5%. Year to date, the company has had net income of $288.3 million, and the company announced that they authorized the repurchase of common shares in the aggregate amount of about $150 million. Taking a look at the analyst ratings, we did have a five-star analyst from JMP Securities reiterate a buy rating and increase their price target on the Hamilton Group stock. They noted that the company reported stronger-than-expected Q2 results and announced their $150 million share repurchase program. They said that they're well-positioned to benefit from prevailing hard market conditions in both specialty insurance and reinsurance. And they are one of four analysts that all have a buy rating on the HG stock. That strong buy consensus comes with an average price target of $21.25 for an upside potential of 18%. Looking at those ratings down below, our JMP Securities is our high-end price target at $25 for an upside of 40%, and our low end comes from Morgan Stanley at $19 for an upside of about 6.5%. So that is a quick look at three small cap stocks, all coming in with a strong buy consensus and recent ratings from five-star analysts. Let me know your thoughts on these companies in the comments down below and whether they were on your radar or not before. I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Of course, please keep in mind these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock, so please make sure you're doing your own research and due diligence before making any investment decision. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you back here next time.